Welcome to my channel. As you might know, it is my dream to be an entertainer. So if you are entertained or enjoy this video in any way, please like the video. Consider leaving a comment to showing me your support and what you enjoyed. And also consider subscribing for more content. So today we are doing mosaic stepping stones. Ooh, it is a Sunny Crew kit. Um, I am a little concerned because it's raining outside so if there's anything in this that requires like airing out the room so you don't get high on the fumes um i'm not prepared to do that so we're just gonna go with this it says something about a glue stick and like some stones so i feel like it is Kid safety, it says choking hazard, um, and, and it does require adult supervision. Fell Harbor is not at home right now, but I'm gonna try to make it work, so <laughs> we will see. But before we begin, let's leave our troubles at the door. We will begin by rolling our neck from shoulder to shoulder, just gently releasing the tension that we find in our neck so often. And let's go ahead and rotate our shoulders about five times, maybe more if you need to. Take a moment now to just center on your body. Really listen to it. See if there's anywhere that needs some attention, needs some love. Oh yes, my back. Oh, did you hear that? I needed to crack that just a little bit. If you have anywhere that needs some attention, now is great. There's a ghost in here, forgive him. He's probably very friendly, but he's messing with my lights. Um, but hopefully I didn't distract you from centering on yourself and seeing if you need to adjust anything to be more comfortable. Now we are going to take a grounding breath. Inhale through the nose on a count of four or five. Hold it, and we're going to release on an audible sigh. <sighs> Perfect. Okay, so mosaic stepping stones, mold and decorate. So we supposedly have a paintbrush, six paint pants. What did I say, pants? Six paints, a glue stick, a bag of plaster mix, three molds, a mixing stick, a protective gloves and a face covering, and instructions. And of course, oh, this is the bag of mosaic stones. That's why I messed up. So let me open this, make sure there's nothing that I need to get before we begin. Okay, so we do have everything we need, but just as I feared, I need a dry, warm place to let this sit for two to three days. So um, we will start this project and we will do a reveal <laughs> when it is thoroughly dried. I think I do have a place in my house to put it. Um, luckily, it didn't say anything about fumes, so it can be left indoors. So we will just go ahead and make do. Um, once again, it said, make sure you have supervision of an adult. I am an adult. I, I'm pretty responsible. I've never started a fire. There's more smoke. I don't know. I think I think we did it without um, blowing up. So I've got that going for me. Um, so this does have gloves and a mask. So when I'm actually mixing, I will go ahead and put those on. So I will not be. Um, voicing during that time because I do uh, feel like safety should come first. Uh, as much as I want to play around with it, it is mold, it's not clay or that kinetic sand. So I'm going to go get water and I'm gonna start. Okay, so it's interesting. The directions actually say to let the mold dry and then paint it, obviously painting makes sense, but then glue these on. So I want to kind of play around with it. Um, so I will do, um, I will actually do it and I'll probably voice over what I'm doing so that way I can keep my mouth covered. Um, I don't think the face mask is going to really alter my voice too much, but you never know. <laughs> what is this? 
This is not the face masks we are used to. I don't even know what this would do. This is just, uh, you know what? Yeah, this is not going to change my voice at all. I think this is just to help me not inhale it. So it's not so much the fumes. I will definitely be wearing these gloves. Oh, but I have my nice nails. I hope they don't poke a hole in these gloves. Um, there we go, okay. I have pre-filled three cups with five and a half fluid ounces, which we use to mix in with the mold. We are going to do one exactly as they say we should do. So I'm going to open this. Woo, it's dusty. Ah. Ooh, this does look like sand. That's, it's weird that I guess it's cement. I don't know, I've wanted to play with cement. Have you seen those DIYs? Or they just like use cement now? That's the next latest and greatest. I do wanna test some of those and uh, really be a little more scientific and critical and see if, uh, <laughs> if what sometimes what they do is, is accurate. So I don't know, I guess I don't need to be too accurate with that. Let's pour in the water. Oops, I might've gone too fast with that. Okay. Ew, ooh, look at that. It looks like steam, but I know it's not. Okay, and they said, mix it. Oh yeah, I can feel the heft. Now obviously I'm not touching it with my fingers, but I can feel where it's starting to feel, kind of like mud, I guess. It's a little hard because I'm feeling through this stick. Um, ew, it's getting all clumpy, you can see. So, okay, I don't know. And now it does take the like, two or three days to dry. So I guess we are good. We're not gonna run out of time to mix it properly. Oh, got some on my table. I do not want a cement table, thank you very much. Okay, I don't know how, like am I allowed to leave chunks? Do I need to get like a whole cake mixer in here? This should be good, it looks a little chunky. Um, now the weird thing is they said on the back of this that you could mold a handprint on the back. How am I gonna mold a handprint if it's still so wet? As soon as you do that, it's gonna go back. So maybe it's still moist after two to three days and you can like do a thing. Is, did my lipstick come through this? That is so funny. <laughs> um, okay, so this is exactly as they said to do. So I am not going to touch this one again. Okay, that's to the side. Now I'm really interested if I can hide the rocks on top. Oops, so that they're actually embedded. Um, so I won't use too much because I don't want to, uh, you know, lose them if they do get like sunken in or hidden or something. So I am just laying in just a few of them. These definitely feel like. Uh, cheap, you know, craft gems, so I'm not losing something beautiful, uh, which is fine. That's kind of the point of this. You're not supposed to, you know. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna do a handful like that. Now, let's see, how can I gently pour this in? Um, whoop, no, my design. Hello? Okay, so the problem is we need to make sure. Okay, so that they don't move. All right, now that they're buried, maybe I can do that at the same time. They got moved. Okay. I still feel like wouldn't I wait? Okay. So I guess there's no way to get it like on the surface like that. Like, you know how you layer some, some effects and stuff? Man, have you ever seen those people, ew, gross, where they have um, 
the like the sand and they like they make faces and, and mountains and stuff just out of sand and they sit there and they do like oh my gosh how do they do that all right so I wasn't gonna mix this one because I feel like the water will just get in into it right but I guess try to swish it. I didn't want to touch the uh, the gems, but the gems kind of got moved around anyway. I live at the end of a cul-de-sac. I don't know why these people be driving around like this. All right, that definitely has a smooth surface. I'm curious. I was gonna, this will just be our test one because I was gonna do it with that one. I want to see I want like tweezers or something. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of, but like on the other side, but I guess there's just no way to do that. That one's gonna sink. Turn. Okay. Um, there. That's not center. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be center, but. Okay, now I'm going to set this one aside. Oh, it's all gonna get sloshed when I move it upstairs. Maybe I should just leave it. Oh no, it already, it already moved, guys. Okay, there we go. You know what, I'll probably leave these actually in my craft room, right over there, probably. Okay, so let's do as they said. I was thinking that I would come up with another idea of how to do this, but I really don't think there's so many different ways to uh, mix cement. So, okay. It's really interesting that they gave me these wonderful metrics of like, dump this really calculated mold with this water, but then they're like, eh, wait two to three days. It's like, why isn't that a science? Is it 36 or 24 hours? You know what I mean? Wait, 48 or 72 hours. So I wanted to put my hand in this, um, but clearly it is not ready for that. So I gotta say the ones that I mixed and the one that I didn't mix, same. They look the same. This one looks, yeah, this one's, Turning that way too. I don't know why the first one looked so clumpy. I guess I hesitated. It could feel my hesitation. It's like a horse. Okay, so this looks like, ew, you guys ever drink those like uh, meal replacement shakes? I, I don't know why I said, ew, I drink them like every day because that way I can work through lunch. It's perfect. Um, <laughs> this is what it looks like. I guess that's why I said, ew, I was like, ew. And then I have that intrusive thought. It's like, do not drink this. Why would I drink it? Just don't, just don't drink it. Okay. Okay, self, I promise you I will not drink this mold. I promise you. I'm not gonna go behind my own back and drink this mold. Promise. Don't drink the mold. Okay. So, I don't think I need this stick anymore. I'm gonna go put it in its box. I don't know why I said I was gonna go anywhere. It's right here. Um, so these three are going to sit and mold and we will return to them to see about painting them. That is the weirdest thing. Painting them. Um, I'm gonna return in two days to put my hand print in them and then maybe see about it. Maybe the next, like the third day, we'll see if they're done so we can remove them. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think whew, I need this anymore. Really didn't do much. There were no fumes. Wow, it doesn't smell like anything. Is my nose broken? It doesn't smell like anything, so it must have been just to, to protect myself from all of the, uh, I was gonna call it fuzz, the smoky stuff, powder. Um, so yeah, so in terms of projects, I can't get these off. Um, in terms of a project, a fun project with your friends, your family, I mean, it's a six plus up for people older than six. And um, there's not much to it. L literally, 
I, I don't know that this video is gonna be like five minutes. I was talking, it says it's 22 minutes, but I want to go get some stuff. So um, it's not really a project to me. Maybe if you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna paint. What I will say is again, I got this at uh, five below. So it was like five, maybe it was $10. I think it was $5. I don't know how much concrete is. These are really small stepping stones. However, if you just wanted to decorate your garden, buy like five of these or whatever, so you can like have 15. Don't use these, like, you know, find however you wanna decorate them yourself or whatever. Um, but then like you got free molds, you know what I mean? Like, and for, you know, like the, the concrete's like sizes and everything like that to like do something decorative. I could totally see that. I could totally see using the materials for whatever your project is, just get creative with it. In terms of a family project, yeah. Unless your kid is interested in like construction sort of stuff. So you're like, oh, here's your first, you know, 101. This is what it's like working with like concrete or something. Plaster, it's plaster. Um, maybe, otherwise I say it's a pass, but we'll see, we'll return and see about these guys. So I recorded on Monday, it is now Wednesday, and you can see all three of them are, they feel a little bit um, kind of like cold, but there's nothing left on my fingers. So now I'm going to try and see if I can press down um, and mold. Nope, I waited two days, or no, let's see, a full day plus some, and I cannot, make any sort of indentation. So I no longer can put my handprint in it. Um, so I don't know when you were supposed to be able to do that. So I will return fully and finish the video. Okay, I am back. Uh, so I originally recorded on Monday. This is now Thursday. So I gave it a little time to be honest. I was having the most horrible headache on Wednesday. Um, I, I get these migraines anyway. So I was like, you know what? I'm not all there mentally. So maybe I should just give myself a day. So again, it's all about self care and really just being honest with yourself. So uh, I did check though um, on Wednesday to see if I could put my handprint in. So because remember the thing said wait two to three days and then you can paint it and glue on the stuff. Um, unfortunately, I didn't think about, oh, well it needs, you know, the mold, like where would the mold be in process? So uh, when we first set it out on Monday, that was way too goopy, it would not have stayed. I probably should have put my handprint in on Tuesday, like gave it maybe between 12 to 24 hours. I don't know how fast it cured, where it would hold something. So even now, okay, so you could see my fingerprints, but it's, it's pretty much in there. So unfortunately I can't do that part of it, but we can still do the other parts. Um, so I think let's go ahead and start with my trial one first. So I'll move these out of the way. So this one was the one that I had a little bit of fun with. Ooh, I love that it is just gonna easily slide out. Hopefully it will not break. So um, these, yeah, they're pretty much stuck in there. They're not coming out. Ooh, okay, nope, that one came out. Okay, so they were wedged on. Um, it seems like some of them were better than others. Let's see what the other side is, because remember this was the bottom uh, technically. Okay, so the bottom, they just sank right through. That did not work. It looks like two of them flipped over. Now I'm curious, can I dig them out? Oh, that feels a little wet. Okay. Uh, let's see, oh, I took off my fake nails. So, okay, so that was easy to pop out. Now this is interesting. So they will not stay in the plaster mold. Oh, why does this do this again? Like, what is that? <laughs> like, I don't understand why these glues are so weird. That doesn't go in. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna cut this all off. I'm only gonna use this once. Did I even? Ugh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Gross. Okay. So there's that let's put this back in there and it can just oh okay because it was upside down so the square wasn't a perfect match for it um so we can glue that one on um 
I don't know, because this side is really nice and smooth. So I guess, yeah, let's remove these guys, right? This should be the one that goes into the ground. It is such a weird feeling because it does still feel rather moist. I guess it's it's wet under, I'm sorry, I realize people hate the word moist and I've been saying it in all of my videos. Sometimes that's the best word for it though. Ew, I put my hand in the glue. <laughs> it's getting so messy. Ugh, this is, what are you eating? There's no food in here, what are you eating? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so it was definitely, it's wet underneath where the stones were. Uh, all right, so that stayed on. Okay, so this was just our trial run. Um, so mostly a fail, you cannot, oh, look at those little holes, those air pockets. So you cannot really um, preset the stones. One side or the other will not work. So I think we've established it with this one. Um, I'm gonna put it back in here because it still feels like it could crack. I almost kind of want to try, but then I'll be sad because, um, okay, so these other two, I actually did follow the instructions. So let's um, let's do what they wanted us to do. So I will say that it comes out very easily and that is super cute. Um, yeah, now that I feel it, it does feel like plaster. I kept calling it concrete before. I apologize. Okay, so there are some air pockets. Uh, now I know some, well, okay, so one of these I mixed to the ends of the earth. For some reason it was really crunchy or um, goopy. Um, and one of these I barely mixed because it was the third one and I realized that it just kind of sets. So there really is no difference. It is really interesting, these, this swirl um, that I'm assuming happened when I was mixing it. Yeah, you can see I kind of dug into here. So that's something to consider you can technically, I guess, make designs if you made a design on this. So maybe you could put like hot glue or some kind of design in here, like silicone, silicone, um, plastic, something that it won't stick to it. You could put here so it can design indented, um, unlike like what we, we try to do with the stones. So that's something that could have been tried. I just didn't consider it. So I think, let's see. So I'm going to glue, actually, you know what? Let me just dip it into this slob of glue. Um, okay. I think that's about even. So I'm gonna do the other um, design that I had before, because it looked like some weird sign, you know? I wish these other ones were like a different shape, like circles or something. I do also want to point out, and I'll, where's that box? You cannot make these designs based on what they gave you. So that's really misleading. There is just, there is not enough in this. I don't have any pink, so that was wrong. I don't have any blue. Um, so yeah, so uh, this is not a complete set for what they show on the back. So that's misleading and I don't appreciate that um, because that would have been really fun. What they gave me, the hell was that? It was just not enough. Oh, this is, uh, okay. I, I almost wanna try to make a shape out of these, but I don't know what I could make. So I'm gonna leave it alone and I'll just try to be more creative in the future. So now let's try painting on this. So again, I left it sitting for the full three days, right? I did this on Monday. It still feels, it feels soft and smooth like plaster. Ugh, my table is so gross. There's something there that's not, it's not even. I don't know. It, I don't know. Let's just see. Let's just see. So, um, let's do, let's do a purple outline. And then, then again, I have this, uh, Let's do a dragon. Because we have dragons all along our walkway. So we will see if this stays, how well it stays, how fast it dries. It's a little more gargoyle-y, but well, that's fine. Or like a goat, yeah. Getting goat vibes. It's okay. I'll add teeth. It'll be fine. 
Let's see, I don't have any white for teeth, so I guess it'll just have yellow teeth. And I'm just trying to use uh, what they have. That's why I did purple for um, the outline instead of like, because I don't have black. I could mix them. They didn't give me anything to mix. So I'm just having fun with it, not trying to make art. Maybe I'll get good eventually. I also did not remember to bring water over, so I'm just gonna dip them all. Um, okay, so I know, ew, did I just? <laughs> I think I got some paint or something to plaster in my hair. And I know I'm not giving it proper time to dry, um, but you didn't come here to see me paint. It's interesting to essentially make like a plaster canvas. I don't know how well this would last outside though, if you actually use this as a stepping stone. I mean, I'd imagine you'd need like some kind of, you know, Mod Podge or other sealant on this. Yeah, this jaw shape is not, not accurate. And I'm missing like a lower jaw. I might go back and fix it. I think the purple is already starting to dry. So if you use very um, thin um, paint strokes or, you know, a little bit of, th like some of this is, is gooping I, I did on purpose. Um, some of it I didn't do on purpose. <laughs> Oops, did not mean to mix that, but oh well. Um, so it's it's drying relatively quickly compared to the plaster. I'm trying to add a little bit of direction with the strokes, like this is the kind of chest sort of area. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, if I had better technique, I probably could have cleaned that up better. Still looks funny, but at least it might make a little bit more sense. This is really nice green, I will say. You don't often see a nice vibrant green like this. But yeah, I think these are just normal acrylic paints. So they're not like giving you something that is supposed to go outside or anything. Okay, yeah, the purple is already dried, so that's great. You can see it really didn't distort much of the stuff, so it's kind of what you get. So that's that. I really didn't use, I didn't use any of the blue. <laughs> okay, he's sniffing, or he's like blowing smoke or something. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to use the blue just to show you all of the colors. Um, so, um, I don't know, guys. I think as a craft, this is a pass. Um, using the materials for your own self, like I said before, if you bought in bulk, I probably if you bought in bulk to do your own methodology and not use the paints or the um, little guys, I think I think definitely you could use this. I mean, it's plaster. These are very small stepping stones, so it's more like the artistic of it, like putting it out just in your garden, places that you wouldn't actually use as stepping stones. I will say is quality control, like there are a lot of pockets in these things. So, I mean, I don't know how, you know, you could probably sand it down, but I think it would also crack. You know, I think I think this is a fail. Uh, ultimately, um, it was a little bit misleading on the box, so you can't do as much intricate stuff with these. You'd have to buy them separately. The paint is just acrylic, so if you actually did use this outside, it's gonna wash off unless you, you seal it. So, one moment. Let me give them the benefit of the doubt and look at the instructions again. Lay out your paints and paint your chosen design onto the molded side of the stepping stone. Using the glue stick, you can also add mosaic stones to make your own personal designs. So they provided the stones, and they said they provided the stones on the box, but you can't really design too much with what they gave you. They also showed pink and blue, which we didn't get. So that is misleading. Mix together primary colors to make even more colors for your design. Leave your design in a warm, dry place overnight until the design is dry. Once it's dry, you just need to find a perfect place in your garden to show it off. Either make a path with three stones laid, one right after another, or place them around your garden in areas where they can look their best. So they went over on, you know, ooh, hey, how you can place this in your garden. They said you can mix the paints to get other colors, but they didn't say, this is acrylic paint and it might wash off the plaster. I think you can 
re-wet plaster, can't you? Like I'm, I'm worried how well this will actually stay in your garden. I'm gonna put these out in my front yard um, just, just for shiggles. And um, if I remember to check on them, I'll check on them in like a week and see how they're holding up. So um, I don't know what video I would put that on, um, but I'll, I'll come back to it and see, you know, like, okay, that glue still hasn't glued. So right now I'm giving this a fail. Um, Maybe I missed something, but I, I don't think I did. I think, again, the materials, if you wanna create something yourself, this gives you the base materials. But as a craft, um, there's not much to it. It's mostly waiting around, so I don't think kids will really enjoy it. And what you get isn't really sustainable. So <laughs> it's a fail, but I still had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you so much for watching. Please again, consider subscribing for more content. Remember that you are loved, you are worthy, and whatever you are struggling with today will pass. Until next time, stay crazy.